time would have been responsible for supervising and assisting in the enforcement of forest law. By the second half of the 17th century, there are actually two bow bearers, not one. Um, and over the course of the next three decades, they effectively dwindled into something not much greater than an honorific. Now, Robert has been bow bearer since 2010 when I appointed him to the office which had been unoccupied for close on 140 years. I'm delighted to say that Robert is the eighth member of the Parker family, I'm not including the listers in this, the Parker family to hold this office since the reign of Charles II, which is an extraordinary achievement. We do know that one bow bearer met a sticky young, that was Nicholas Tempest in 1550, uh, 1535. He was hanged, drawn and quartered. Uh, so I do hope the happier fate awaits. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him shaking to know what he's going to be doing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to my bow bearer, Robert Parker, uh, his bow bearer's wand. <laughs> Spencer, who as many of you will know is a former chairman of the Friends of the Lancashire Archive. Uh, he's a historian who has uh, given a lot of his time and thought to this particular neighbourhood and he has very strong family links to this village and to the Bowman area in general. In 2009 I had the pleasure of working with Chris and co-authoring a monograph on the Lordship of Boland and there are a few, a very few copies at the back of the hall for those who want to have a look at that. We will be putting a slide up later, I think, indicating where you can get a copy online if you want one. That was published by the Cambridge University Heraldic and Genealogical Society and was the first time we had a comprehensive history of the Lordship of Bowdoin going back to the 12th century. Now, as we'll learn this evening, feudal courts have been held in Slaveburn since at least the second half of the 14th century. And Chris has been researching this particular courtroom and the courts for many years. I understand tonight he has some revelations to share with us. Um, he'll be talking for around 45 minutes and he'll take questions for about 15. And so it is an enormous pleasure to me to introduce Chris 